Hello friends, welcome. If you are new here, I am Tammy and this is Isaac's Rusty Wagon. Today I am going to be taking you on a fall tour of my home. Um, this will be a music only tour. And we will start outside in the front yard. Then we will move inside where I will be showing you the foyer, the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, all decorated for fall. And then we will finish the tour outside and look at the back patio area. And be sure to stick around to the very end because at the very end, I will also be sharing a tutorial of how I made the pumpkin garland above my front door. So I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy the tour. Thanks so much for watching.
Hello everyone. It has been such a fabulous, cool day here in Southern Illinois that I have started my outdoor fall decor. I'm not sure about that quilt being on there. I don't know if it clashes or not. Um, I'll wait till I'm done at the end. But anyway, what I was going to show you is when I did that window garland in the kitchen, I had a lot of questions. Um, afterwards about how I did it and I didn't record it. So I'm going to be doing, this is my garland for the front door that I had up last year. And I usually just put like some twigs sticking out of it and things they are actually behind that scarecrow's foot. Um, yeah, look at my mess. Anyway, so I am going to attach pumpkins to the garland that's on the front door. Hopefully it will work. Um, I may have to add and make it longer because last year I basically just had it across the top. So I have an idea on what I'm, how I'm going to change it up, but I'm going to try to show you how to attach those pumpkins, um, or at least how I did it. Um, and then that way you can see and anything else I put in there, um, I'll try to show you that too. But most of the time, what I do is I just hang the garland on three screws that are in each corner and then above the door. And then I just stick stuff. And this is just a piece of garland, a piece of burlap, and then a piece of leaf garland. And you'll see here, I've just tied them all together in just various areas. And that's it. So, and then when I get it up there, I'll like fluff it and get everything going the same way and all that. And the rest will just be stuck in there. Except for the pumpkins. I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, I'm going to show you how I attached the pumpkins in the kitchen and how I'm going to do it here on the front. What's going to be on my front door. That's just a $3 styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. This is a bottom of an artificial flower. So you come off one of those thick ones. But you could use, um, if you didn't want to drill it, you know, you could use a piece of coat hanger or anything. So I'm just going to shove it through and then bring it out like right there. Okay. Um, I don't think I can hold my phone while I do it. <laughs> so hold on a second. Okay, so there it is. See how it's sticking through? So what I'm going to do is I'm leaving that in there because it gives me something to attach to. So actually you could probably use like a little dowel rod or something. I just, I think it'd be better to do a like thick coat hanger because you can at least bend those. You can't build a dowel rod. So I can, maybe don't do dowel rod. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to use some floral wire here and I'm going to wire it on to that. Okay, so there it is. And you'll see here, I'll have to trim that off, but it's coming out of the pumpkin. See if we can see that one better. And I just sort of stuck it in and then wrapped the wire around it. I guess it probably wouldn't hold it if you went pulling on it or something, but just to be up there, you know, it's not going to fall off. So that's all I did. And we'll do another one. Okay, so I've hung it up here on the door just so I know where to put the placement of the other pumpkins I have left. Yeah, I have them in my hand here exactly like I showed you. And that's how they're attached up there. And I went ahead and I stuck those stems in. I have one hanging down here. I've got to work with it a little bit more and straighten it out. But then I have the other ones just across the top. So let's see if we can get this other pumpkin up. Okay. So I have them up here for now. I need to get the star phone off of them. And I think I'm going to put some more stuff on it. Because right now it's looking off and I don't know why. Um, 
I think it's because I've got the pumpkin spread out too much. So we'll see. Okay, I'm going to call it quits for the night. I don't think I'm done with it yet. I have some more stuff I want to add to it. But I still think it's looking pretty cute. Let me see. I'll fall down my stairs. I kind of think I need to go buy another white pumpkin. I think that's why it looks off. You got those two bright white ones. Well, they're not bright white, but they do jump out at you more than the others. And I've got to do my flowers inside my milk can. So it's just a start, but I wanted to show you how to do that garland the best that I could show. You know, it's just basically putting something in it so that you have something to grab onto and then just wire it in to the, to the garland. So that's it. Mm -hmm.